Offshore oil and gas rigs are some of the most interesting engineering feats of our time. They cost a lot to build, but can generate more revenue than the entire GDP of some countries. Far away from the sight of the average person, these rigs operate in some of the most challenging environments on Earth. Surrounded by the vastness of the ocean, they extract valuable oil and gas buried deep beneath the seabed. AI-powered robots might take over one day, but today, oil rigs still require people to run them. They are home to dozens or even hundreds of men and women who call these offshore platforms their home, for months at a time. Today on Boost, we'll take a look at what kind of oil rigs there are, what it's like to work on one, and how exactly the whole drilling operation is run. In contrast to land-based oil drilling operations, which can adjust and extend their drilling sites as necessary, ocean-based oil extraction requires precise planning regarding the size and type of oil rig to be used from the beginning. The variety in oil and natural gas rig designs is large, catering to different needs and environments. Some rigs are anchored to shallow ocean floors, making them stable but location-dependent. Others are designed to float, secured only by cables or chains to the seabed, allowing for more mobility. There are also rigs mounted on ships or barges, offering the highest mobility by moving from one exhausted well site to another without much hassle. The Berkut oil rig, located off the Russian Pacific coast near the island of Sakhalin, is one of the largest oil platforms in the world. Weighing about 200,000 tons, this engineering marvel has an estimated oil extraction capacity of 4.5 million tons annually. Designed to withstand extreme subarctic conditions, including giant icebergs and freezing temperatures, Berkut holds the title for the largest oil platform in Russia and one of the heaviest in the world. Troll Gas Platform, on the other hand, is the largest natural gas platform in the world and the tallest and heaviest object ever moved by man across the surface of the Earth. Located in the North Sea off the coast of Norway, it's primarily used for natural gas extraction from the Troll Gas Field. What makes Troll A particularly notable is its method of construction. The platform is a gravity-based structure meaning it is kept in place by its own weight rather than being anchored to the seafloor. The base of the platform was constructed with reinforced concrete, allowing it to stand a staggering 472 meters tall from the seabed to the surface, making it taller than the Eiffel Tower. Even taller than the Troll A is the Petronius oil platform, towering majestically in the Gulf of Mexico. Until 2010, when Burj Khalifa was completed in Dubai, the Petronius was the largest freestanding structure in the world at a staggering 2,100 feet. Petronius is a fixed tower oil platform, a design that allows it to flex in response to the ocean's powerful forces, ensuring both stability and longevity. Since its inception in the late 1990s, Petronius has significantly contributed to the energy sector by efficiently tapping into the rich oil reserves located deep within the Gulf of Mexico. Before we take a look at what it's like to work on an oil rig, please consider subscribing to Boost and clicking the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the video so far. On offshore oil platforms, jobs can vary a lot. Some workers are medical staff in charge of the first aid station, where they work 12-hour shifts, stay ready to help at all times, and get flown back to shore every two weeks to switch out with someone else. Along with medical staff, there are also managers, technical experts, and chefs, but most of the workers are known as roughnecks. These are the folks who do a variety of physical tasks needed to keep the platform operational every single day. Roughnecks do many different things, like handling the drilling equipment and checking on the drilling fluid's condition. The head of operations, or installation manager, is in charge of managing all the activities on the platform, from upkeep and drilling to organizing projects and training sessions. These managers are specially trained to manage any issues that might happen and are focused on ensuring that everyone on the platform stays healthy and safe, which is important on any oil or gas platform. The drilling operation on an oil rig is a complex process that involves several teams and pieces of heavy machinery. At the heart of this operation is the drill floor, where teams work tirelessly to operate the drill and penetrate the seabed. 
The drilling process begins with the assembly of a long string of pipes, known as the drill string, which is gradually lowered into the ocean floor. At the tip of this string is the drill bit, a powerful tool designed to crush through rock and other materials to reach the oil reservoirs below. As the drill bit advances, drilling fluid, also known as mud, is pumped down through the pipes to cool the bit, carry away rock fragments, and maintain pressure within the well to prevent blowouts. This fluid is then recycled and treated before being reused in the drilling process. Monitoring the drilling operation is a constant task, requiring attention and quick decision-making to adjust the drilling parameters as needed and to ensure the safety and efficiency of the operation. The oil within the seabed is not stored in large pools or lakes as one might imagine. This oil is typically located in fragmented rock formations, such as sandstone or limestone, where it is mixed with natural gas and water within the tiny spaces, or pores of the rock. These formations, known as reservoirs, can vary greatly in size, depth, and the type of rock that contains them. The oil itself is a mixture of various hydrocarbons and can be thick and sticky, or relatively light and fluid, depending on its composition and the conditions within the reservoir. The pressure from the Earth's crust and the natural gas present in the reservoir help to push the oil towards the surface once drilling has reached these deposits. However, not all oil flows easily, and sometimes water or gas injection techniques are used to help push the oil out and into the well for extraction. Once brought to the surface, the oil is separated from other substances and prepared for storage and transportation, marking the final steps in the journey from the depths of the seabed to becoming usable energy resources. The amenities and facilities on an oil rig can vary significantly, influenced by factors such as the rig's overall size, its specific design, and the objectives it aims to achieve. These floating workplaces are in constant operation, functioning 24-7, which necessitates that the workforce is split into two groups. These groups take turns covering 12-hour shifts every day, ensuring that the rig's operations never skip a beat. To keep morale high and ensure that workers have a way to relax during their downtime, most oil rigs are equipped with a variety of leisure facilities. Common spaces include game rooms, where workers can engage in activities like pool, darts, or video games, movie rooms for watching films after a long shift, and well-equipped gyms for maintaining physical health and blowing off steam. Beyond entertainment and fitness, practical needs are met with on-site laundry facilities, ensuring that workers can easily clean their clothing, and a commissary stocked with a wide range of snacks and beverages for a quick energy boost or a treat after a hard day's work. Dining together is a significant aspect of life on the rig, with at least one dining hall available where workers can enjoy meals, socialize, and bond over shared experiences. Living quarters on the rigs are typically bunk rooms. These rooms are usually shared between two to four workers, each equipped with a bathroom. Not exactly luxurious, but good enough to get a good night's sleep before the next 12-hour shift. Significant resources are spent to ensure the safety and well-being of personnel on these offshore structures. Every oil platform is equipped with a designated area for fire safety, where all employees receive comprehensive training on using essential firefighting equipment. In the event of a fire, instructions are clear. Employees must quickly head to their assigned gathering point, dressed warmly and equipped with life vests, ready for immediate evacuation if necessary. Regulations require all platforms to have modern, enclosed lifeboats ready for deployment, facilitating a quick and safe exit from the rig. Traveling to these remote oil platforms presents its own set of challenges, given their distant and often turbulent locations. Heavy vessels pose a hazard to the structural integrity of the platforms due to potential collisions. As a result, smaller, more nimble boats are usually used for transporting staff from land to rig. But depending on the location of the rig, helicopters remain the preferred method of transport due to their capacity and speed, especially in poor weather conditions, ensuring that crew changes and departures at the end of shifts proceed smoothly. What do you think of these oil rigs and how they are operated? Comment below! Keep watching more videos by Boost, like this one on your screen now.